Mike, this is the plant owned by, uh, by the products plant here on East Deer on Freeport Road. The company also has another facility in Butler and one, a warehouse in Leedsdale. Now, employees were not talking today, but people who live near the air products facilities told me the attacks in France have them on edge. Right across the street from the air products plant in East Deer, young children were playing in their front yard. Their mom fears for their safety in the wake of the attack on another air products plant in France. What are your concerns? Um, could it happen here? You know, could it happen during the day? Anything. A lot of concerns. Air products said it has increased security at its plants throughout the world, but that's not evident to Desiree Moni. I haven't seen any security or anything. What would you like to see? Uh, security. <laughs> A lot of it. Nor did we see signs of strong security at this air products warehouse in Leedsdale. The warehouse was filled with company product, but no employees were visible. People living near the warehouse also are worried. Does it make you feel any less secure knowing that they're right here? Absolutely. It's too close to home. You know, I lived here all my life and I never really had troubles like that. So it's, it's scary. I suppose it's a scary thing, you know, that, I mean, at any moment, that could happen right here in our own neighborhood. There was fear, but also anger about the attack, which has been blamed on Islamic terrorists. Something has to be done about these this, these guys. I mean, it, it, they're ruling the world. Senator Pat Toomey said in a statement, the attack hits close to home, and he is offering assistance to Air Products. The company is headquartered in Allentown, and it employs more than 20,000 people around the world. Reporting from East Deer, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.